Hey everyone, FPS Chazley here. So I've decided recently to turn off, maybe you've noticed there are no more ads on my videos. I've recently decided to turn off monetization for my videos. And that is because I saw this on a, mainly on, I've always kind of felt this way, but it kind of like came up in me more recently when I saw Sam Harris on Joe Rogan Experience recently, I think it was episode 1242. Just talking about our perception of, you know, price and what we expect to be free on the internet versus what we pay for. I think that hand was off camera. There's the other hand. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've always kind of felt this way. It's it, our, our, our relationship with the internet. Well, first, let me just get to the, to the long and the short of it if you don't want to hear me go into the philosophy of it. But basically, I've just decided to solely fund my channel through Patreon subscriptions and uh, I've also turned on Super Chat. Um, not that I need prioritization of chats, like I'm getting a bajillion chats or anything like that, but just if you want to donate one time, you can come into a live stream and Super Chat. I'll look into uh, other methods of one-time donation, maybe just PayPal or something. But yeah, so you can subscribe to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. And then if you want, you can also come into live streams and donate with a Super Chat, or you can go to my Spreadshirt store and get a nice shirt like this one. Shameless plug. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, I've decided to turn off ads and just be funded basically through the money that you guys give me. So, if you don't want to watch all the philosophical discussions, that's all you need to see, but I'm going to go into the philosophy of it now because I find it rather fascinating. So yeah, as I was saying on the web, we have expectations of free versus what we're willing to pay. And I find it to be very interesting. Like the point that Sam Harris brought up was, you know, there are people who will buy a $5 cup of coffee every day, but the moment they have to, you know, download some app on their phone that costs, that charges them only five bucks a month, you feel like you've been raped. Like, it seems like a strong word, but I think it's apt. People, we just have such an ex expectation of freedom on the internet. We're so used to the advertisement based model, but I just think, I think an internet, a, a future internet, I kind of agree with him that is more driven by paying for things instead of being advertiser driven. It's probably a better internet that we indeed do want. Now I've always kind of felt this way about video games too, to give, to give us some more relevancy to my channel. I feel like video games are way too cheap. I mean, it kind of sounds like heretical to think about, but I mean, for a game like Skyrim or a Fallout where you get easily 60 or 80 hours of enjoyment out of that, and you only pay like 60 bucks for it, you only paid like one dollar per hour to get all that enjoyment out of it. I mean, I think that's a reasonable way to think of it. I mean, how much do you get paid at your job? 20 bucks an hour, 10 bucks an hour, 30 bucks an hour? So for those 60 or 80 hours of enjoyment, if you've been working, you know, I'm talking about 600, 800 dollars plus minimum, 1200, 1800 dollars, it's a lot of money for that time. Well, spend your precious time, you know, recovering from your job, and it's time you could be spending doing other things like learning things or socializing wouldn't say you're playing this video game that you've got for relatively pretty cheap. I mean, if you do other hobbies like paintballing, like each time you go paintballing, that can be pretty expensive, you know, a hundred bucks for all that paint and gun rentals and stuff, entry fees. Go to a concert, you're talking, if a, for a well-known concert, you're talking 50, 100 bucks, same with a sports game. And these things last for very short amount of, short, short amounts of time compared to buying a video game or watching some videos on YouTube, especially it's something like a Joe Rogan or a Sam Harris, you know, where you're, you're getting this intellectual stimulation and you're learning a lot of things. It's just very interesting, the psychology of it, how we're so used to things being free on the internet and how there's such like a lack of, uh, you know, there's not that same moral, moral block about like stealing on the internet too. Like downloading a video game illegally is no different than going into a advance auto parts and taking a muffler off the wall and walking out basically but we've got it in our I've, I've i've thought about this by myself i've never really tested these ideas against people so i'm just going to spitball them but one of the things i find interesting about it it's kind of like with my generation I, I was born in 1990 so i grew up in the 90s and early 2000s with video games i would download some back then but i i'm mostly a purveyor of buying i don't download games now i buy them um, and that's because I'd want to be paid for my hard work if I made a video game like that. But what I was getting at here is like, I grew up in that time, my parents knew nothing about the internet, 
our computers really, our video games, our illegal downloads. So I feel like they just, because that cultural norm or that that element of our culture came in so quickly. They're what they didn't have. They since they knew nothing about it, they couldn't raise their kids to be to have a morality about that necessarily, because it's hard to see any kind of bad effect on society from not buying a video game because it's just you're just on a computer screen and you're just downloading something just like any other free thing you can do on the internet. It's not like at a store where you, you lift something off the shelf and some shopping people are like, hey, what are you doing? And you just like go running out and like, oh, adrenaline rush or whatever. I don't know. I don't know why I said adrenaline rush. It's kind of the, the, yeah, that's kind of like more pro stealing. That's not really the argument I was trying to make. But there isn't that same moral imperative that you know you're actually taking someone from, taking something from someone. I don't know. I find it very interesting. But yeah. So nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. Everything will still be free. Uh, but if you feel like you want to personally donate, the way Sam Harris put it, I liked a lot. He changed, because with the ad based internet, we're all products. We're not customers necessarily. Like on Facebook, you're a product. You're being sold to advertisers. Your attention is being sold to advertisers. It's the same on YouTube with the ads. So instead, I want to make you more of a customer. You know, I want you to be the customer, not the ad agencies to be the customers. So the, uh, so I'm in, instead selling you a product instead of people selling, ad, instead of you being sold to advertisers as a product. So interesting philosophical discussions involved with that. Uh, you know, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to say, ah, oh, bring the ads back. Um, but uh, yeah, so feel free to subscribe on Patreon if you want, or subscribe, sorry, you can subscribe for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, feel free to stop on a stream and super chat if you want to do a one-time donation or buy a t-shirt, you can do that as well. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, and as always, good hunting.